first weekend of E3 has passed by, and with that, we saw a lot of really great indie games come through that first weekend. And I just want to share with you guys a couple of my favorite picks that I'm really excited for coming up in the next coming years. First one off the bat is Kitsune Tales. Kitsune Tales is a game where you get to run, jump, dash across a land inspired by Japanese mythology in this really cute Super Mario 3 style game. Um, this is a follow-up to the most recent title, which is called Super Bernie World, which is a platforming game where you play as Bernie Sanders. I'm just a sucker for a really good platforming game, and the fantastic Super Mario 3 art style that comes along with this just looks really charming to me, and I'm just excited to see it. And the, 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 the story even seems to be pretty intriguing, too. Up next, we've got Wolfstride, an exiled ex-Yakuza, a rookie combat pilot, and a grizzled mechanic team up to compete in the Ultimate Mech Tournament. You get to use skills and weapons to defeat the mechs in turn-based combat, as well as making your way to the top by managing repairs, upgrading your weapons, and learning new moves. It has this really cool strategic turn-based mech combat system that seems really intriguing, and the art style is just this fantastic black and white animation, sort of Sin City-like approach that I think looks really, really charming. And also, just who doesn't like giant robots fighting each other? Come on, it's the, one of the best things that exists out there. Coming in at number three, we've got Hunt the Night. Hunt the Night is a retro-style action-adventure game that combines a fast, skilled gameplay with dark fantasy lore. You get to play as Vesper, which is a virtuous member of the Stalkers, and explore the vast world of Medrum, filled with ruins and horrors. The combat list looks super rich and in-depth, and the world looks amazing, and the sprite detail is fantastic, and... It just looks really, really good. The combat looks rich and in-depth, and the multiple weapon styles they offer to you, as well as spells and different types of play, all just seem like a really, really nice package all in one small indie game. Number four on my list is a game that you've probably seen a lot of over this past weekend. It's Death Store. Reaping the souls of the dead and punching a clock might get monotonous, but it's honest work for a crow. The job gets lively when your assigned soul is stolen, and you must track down a desperate thief to a realm untouched by death where creatures go far past their expiry date and overflow with greed and power. This game just looks amazing. The art is fantastic, the atmosphere is just oozing with just that real rich storytelling and immersive world building, and the combat also looks very fluid and interesting as you go through the world itself. And the story itself seems interesting, and I'm really excited to see how it plays out. And last on my list, and the game I'm most excited for in the coming years, is Unbeatable. Unbeatable is a rhythm adventure game where music is illegal, and you do crimes. It is a beautiful, hand-drawn animated game with a custom soundtrack and a ton of songs. It's, a fan it's got a fantastic demo out available where you can play on Steam called White Label, where you get to experience a sort of side story of the main game itself with the same mechanics that the main game's going to have. And I even got to talk to the developers over at Diesel Games on our podcast, the Chasing XP podcast. So if you're curious and want to see it, you can catch it on our website. It's really cool. I'm excited for it. And I just think it's going to be one of the biggest games to come out in the next couple of years. Well, that's it for me, guys. If you want to share your top five games that came out of E3, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see my friend Steven's uh, top five games from E3, you can catch his video on our channel as well. Just go ahead and go down there and hit that little subscribe button and go check it out for yourself. Or don't. I'm not your boss. It's fine.